Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here at KissAndLog.com. I'm on vacation here in New York and actually on Long Island. So I'm a long ways from home, but I wanted to do a video. So I've got my computer and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the first tutorial using microcap. Okay, so let's jump into this thing. What I'm gonna show you is how to bring up the sample circuit, how to do an AC analysis, a transient analysis, and how to change the values, and also how to use the window. Okay, I'm not gonna go super in depth and spend a lot of time. We're gonna do a quick video and just kind of show you the fun stuff. Okay, something to start with so you can start playing with it. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and open up a file, and I'm gonna open up the 64 bit version of MicroCap 12. And it comes up tip of the day. Thank you. Now what we're going to do is come up to the help menu. And we come down here to sample circuits. And come over and we're going to come down here to vacuum tubes. Fun vacuum tubes. And then come over to this window that opens and go uh, to audio amplifier. All right, there's our circuit. Now the first thing I want to show you is, let's say you're zoomed out and it's off the screen. So what you can do is come over here, see the plus and minus magnifying glass? Just to the right of that, there's this little icon. Click on that guy and he all sizes your circuit. The other thing, if you hover over that icon, it comes up with the auto scale F6. So let's say it's off the screen again. We can go to F6 and it pops up. All right, this is our tube circuit, our input voltage, our uh, decoupling capacitor, our, our load resistors here for the input, comes in the first vacuum tube. Then there's another vacuum tube right here and our transformer or audio transformer output and our 16 ohm load. All right, so let's come up here to analysis window and we'll come and hit transient. Now, it comes up with this menu here, which you can do a whole lot of things with, but for now, what we're gonna just do, look at the default, and the first uh, thing we're gonna look at, the first waveform, this is where you put your waveforms that you wanna view. The first one says voltage at voltage in. So the first thing is, do you want to see voltage, current, power? The next thing is what you want to see, and it's called VN, so it's V of VN. The other thing is called RL, so it's the voltage at RL in parentheses. Then over here is the ranges, so uh, we're not going to worry about that too much right now. You know, we've got these boxes we can check, we can auto scale ranges, so we can click on that and then it'll just auto scale these things for us. So let's come up here and hit the run button. And there we go. All right guys, so once you run your simulation, you've got these windows here, but this guy has changed size. So what do we do? Come over here and hit F6 and resize. Or we come up and hit, we hit this button right here. We got the plus minus magnifying glass and it's a little boxy one next to it. Hit that guy in all those scales. See, and then it goes back the way it was. So we hit it, hit it again. So then we can see our circuit. Okay, so this is our, the output, the RL. See it's centered around nine volts it looks like. And this guy right here is telling us about 2.5 volts peak to peak. This is our VN, 100 milli volts peak. Okay, so what we can do if we want to see this guy bigger, we can highlight him, make him in the active window, and then come up and hit this guy. And these windows right here are about scaling. So you can hit this guy on the far left, and then it, and it scales the two windows we have open, we could have more windows open, it'd scale them all. Or if we side by side, or we want to see them. But let's say we wanted to see the schematic full window, then we can make him active by selecting this bar and then doing that. Then we go back 
side by side. Now, whichever one's active is the one that puts on left, so he's active. If I activate this bar up here, hit side by side, it makes that one to the left. Okay, so we got our two windows, right? And this is our voltage here. So let's go over and change our load. Okay, right now you see these numbers? These are the power numbers, I believe. When you come up to these windows right here, if you hit this one with power, like the little lightning bolt, it turns on your power numbers. This one turns on your current, and that one turns on your voltage. So you can kind of see your DC voltages you know, so that's kind of helpful to see those guys. I'm gonna turn them off right now. Right now we're 16 ohms, so let's make that four ohms. And then we'll run that. Now watch this, when I, when I hit okay, watch this window right here change. Right now it's nine, it's going up to about 10 volts peak. Okay, now see this, it put another window here. So it's gathering all the waveforms. Now what we can do is on this limits window, accumulate plots. So it keeps accumulating so we can compare them. If we don't want to do that, we just turn off that accumulation, okay? But often you want to compare, so it's nice to have that accumulation on. Okay, now let's go to AC uh, analysis. So that was a transient. Now AC is just a continuous AC waveform. Now I didn't show you that window. I'm going to go back and show you that window. Now see the V in here. We get an AC waveform, and here's our RL, so our voltage or our load. So you can see that this is a gain. This is voltage. So it's down here at zero, then. Our, we have this pass band where up here is around 200 hertz and then it's flat and then it drops off and it starts dropping off. This is 100k, so pretty wide band. Okay, now if you want to see, well, what happens if I change my load back to 16? So it values up here. I can change a lot of stuff in this window, but let's just change this, change it back to 16, and then say okay. And then look, so now we've got our, this is our original one, okay? If I click, okay, that's, that's run number one, and that's run number two. So that's pretty cool, right? You can see how the load affects the amplitude. We're not loading this transformer down as much as 16 ohms. Okay, that's pretty cool, but what if we want to see a waveform on one of these? Well, we can put a name of this or use a known name and, uh, and then we can put it in the window so that it'll plot it. But what if we just want to go around and poke on it? So then what we do is let's come up here to analysis again. And this time, let's go to probe AC. See, now we don't see anything here. But you notice my cursor, I have a little V right here. So it's gonna be showing me voltages. So I click it there. Okay, and it's just, it's, there's no gain because it is what it is. So it's just giving me the voltage. See down here it's in dBs. So there's no gain. Now if I come over this side of the capacitor, come over here, this side of the capacitor. Now you can see that low pass filter, this capacitor, this RC, creates this. So if I want to change where this happens, I can play with these values. Now if I follow the signal through the tube up to here, the output, now you can see we have a little gain and we also have a filter on this side because we have another uh, capacitor right here, this circuit here. So now let's come to the other side of this capacitor. Now notice this guy is Okay, now you didn't see any change. If you look real close, you'll see this kind of pink waveform. You see it's a little bit different here, but it comes up, and that difference is this capacitor because the signal's just coming from here to here. So it's AC coupled, so you get a little, this is a large value resistor, so it's not changing too much. Now let's go to the output of this tube. 
Now look at this, we get more gain. A little more shaping with the gain. Okay, now let's come over to our load and see what's out here finally. Now you see this blue waveform right here? That's this blue guy right here. Now this transformer has a turns ratio and we can play with that and try different things there. Now let's just go back to this guy again. Now I have to come up to choose this arrow here. I'm on the probe right now. Let's choose this arrow and then I come over here and double click on this and it's 16 ohms. Let's go back to 4 ohms. Okay, typed in 4 and I'm going to hit OK. Now you see how all these things just adjusted? Alright guys, so let's just take a look at something. You know, we're noticing how the resistor changes the operation, right? The levels. So let's go up here to analysis. And this time let's come down here to AC, okay? I want to show you something. See the stepping window? Hit stepping, and then right here says step what? Let's go to this pull down here and go down to RL. We're going to change our load. So it, it comes up and says let's change it from 2 ohms to 8 ohms and in steps 1.2. So let's, instead of doing that, let's go to 16 ohms. And let's go in steps of two ohms. So, okay, now let's go say, okay, run. Okay, and then we'll come up here and say, run. Okay, what I have to do is I go to 16, two ohms, and then I have to say, step it, yes. Okay, now it's going to step. That way I can set up these steps and I can go to each one of these tabs and try to set up different things and then I can come over and say step it if I want. So let's do it this time. Then say run. And then see all these steps. So you can see down here I put the cursor on. It says 2 ohms, 4 ohms, 6 ohms. Okay, now if you want to pull up cursors and play with it like that, you can come up to these windows here and play around with them. Like this, say for instance we hit that, you notice this cursor popped up. So I can move it around and let's say if I go, well it's 29, let's go 3 dB down, I'll go to 26. Okay, let's just say roughly there. Then the other cursor, I come over here and I go to 26. So now I've got my two cursors set, uh oh. Got my two cursors set up, and you know that gives me some information there. Okay, so let's say if I come up to here, I can hit this guy right here. And then I can come down here, and let's say if I want to go on this curve. And then let go, and it shows me that bandwidth there. And if I come up here to the one next to it, then I can come to the top of this guy. Let's say the top of, I don't know, say this guy. Then I can come down to here, or let's say just to, you know, you can go anywhere you want, right? And then it tells you how many dBs from there to there. So that's just some of the tools you have. I just wanted to go over some of those. Uh, kind of a first look at this, okay? Hey guys, what do you think of that? Is that okay? Let me give me your feedback in the comments below. Hey, and by the way, subscribe if you haven't done so, and like the video, and uh, check out the links below. I've got a Patreon link below too, and thanks, patrons, for the support. So we just moved around the windows, kind of showed you how to move around, and kind of looked at a tube amplifier. Pretty cool, right? So if you haven't seen one before. Now you can play with that circuit and kind of get used to seeing how it works, okay? All right, hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.